start with a clean, shiny plastic surface. Here I'm using a painter's palette. I'll leave a link below to where you can get one. With acrylic paint or black polish, use a dotting tool to make two dots for the knobs of the controller. Then with a pin, you're going to make a plus sign for the directional pad. And above the knobs, make two small thin lines for the select and start buttons. Alright, then on the left side, you're going to make your main buttons using a purple for the square, green for the triangle, blue for the X, and orange for the circle button. On top of those colors you just put down, you're going to put a black dot just a little bit larger than the color dots. Then you're going to take the color you want the controller and with the dotting tool, just make two big dots on top of the knobs you already made. Then make one big dot on the directional pad and one big dot on top of all the colored buttons. And then you're just going to connect them in the middle with a straight line. You're going to take a darker tone of the face color. So here I'm using a darker blue. And you're just going to make some handles. With the pin or the small dotting tool you have, just make two really thin black lines on either side of the top. Alrighty, and then just for accents, I did all the colored buttons again. So I used some green paint for the triangle, painted in a square with pink, made some X's with blue, and for the circle button, you want to start with a black dot, and then put a bigger orange dot on top, and to make them all buttons, just cover them all in big black dots. Alrighty, so I just repeated the whole process, making a whole bunch of controllers and a whole bunch of buttons to take up any excess space. Oh, before I covered the controller with the face color, I also added a small dot of gray to act as the PlayStation button. Then when you're satisfied with everything you've put down, you're going to cover the entire creation with silver polish. I did two coats of this. Now wait until it's completely dry. Then you can gently pull it off of the surface and you have your nail sticker. To apply it, just polish on a base coat on your nails. And before that base coat dries, you wanna lay down your nail sticker, pat it down until it's smooth. Using a cuticle pusher, I pressed in the indentation around my nail plate. This loosens up the sticker, and then you can just pull away any excess polish. File any off of the free edge to make it smooth, and then apply your top coat. This is the first episode of my Nerdy Nail series. If you have any games you want me to make nail designs on, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week.